sorry about the uh, overlap, but uh, yeah, it's kind of that hot point in the day here in Texas. Yeah, so uh, what's up, people? Van TX89 here, and well, today it is July 2nd, 2013. That means one thing in particular I am now one year older therefore I am now 24 years old and here I am kinda of looking like a black some call me Johnny good God look <laughs> the, but that's besides the point um, before I head out to dinner and all that um, I just wanted to get this video done this is kinda of gonna be like a little birthday update thing as well as a quick rundown of uh, well not a quick rundown but kind of more of a quick rant or so I don't know um, but basically well I might as well talk about the main thing that's on my mind other than it has been 10 years since my father passed away and I've been through like an emotional pile up since then um, but I've finally managed to make it through that storm and I feel like I'm ready to actually step out on my own and try you know so I can actually really go far and do what I need to do um you know it's just been kind of rough I mean seriously that was just before I turned 14 like a week before I turned 14 like what a week two weeks yeah so Wow, still can't believe it's been 10 years. But um, other than that, Pacific Rim opens July 12th. I've been kind of doing a bit of reading. Apparently, Grown Ups 2 is actually going is it's going to get more uh, more viewership, or at least that's what uh, what a lot of analysts have been projecting. You know, I don't buy it because for one thing. It's a movie that features giant robots. Real Steel did fairly well. It's a movie that features giant monsters. Any fan of Super Sentai or Power Rangers or Ultraman or Godzilla or any of those other kaiju genre uh, movies, they would love to go see this. And in all honesty, I'm pretty sure as many of them as possible are going to see it at least twice. I would love to go see it. But do I have the money for it? Personally, yeah, so it's just a matter of getting out to the theater and going to see it. Now, also, if you love the work of Guillermo del Toro, go see it. I mean, he does some pretty interesting things uh, with character depth or the depth of the plot or the situation, i.e. the orphanage or, you know, um, Kronos or some of his, uh, you know, uh, some of his other work, like Mimic or whatever, you know, and that was a nice little gimmicky pseudo horror sci-fi thing and I frankly enjoyed Mimic I haven't seen Mimic 2 but I kind of would not want to see it but that is beside the point Legendary Pictures is pretty much testing the waters if you don't know Legendary Pictures are um, they're working with Toho the people behind Godzilla in order to make a new American Godzilla movie it's supposed to come out in 2015 I'm pretty sure that Pacific Rim is actually testing the waters right now. See if people like it. And they're also trying to see how the marketing is going to go. Do we do it like this? Or do we do it like this? You know, so... If, if this movie kind of tanks, we might not actually get another American uh, kaiju film like this. You know, it, it's interesting to see you know, like trailers for it. Hell, when I first saw uh, a trailer, I thought that it was the Godzilla movie. I thought that they were releasing this thing like two years ahead of schedule. That's not what they're doing. This is a whole other movie, but it's made by the exact same studio. So, yeah, I'm very excited for it because this is going to be like just, it's going to be big, man. This can be groundbreaking and we could just like get a whole bunch more we're not going to get something like Cloverfield every single time Cloverfield was an interesting experiment in uh, creating an American equivalent to say Godzilla or Mothra or Rodan or Ghidra or uh, or any of the other uh, 
legendary giant monsters. We already had King Kong, but King Kong wasn't done in the same manner as those. Cloverfield was, but it was done through POV cam. Yeah, and that was okay. I say that the movie was okay, you know, but this film is trying to do something that we have not been able to do before due to, well, the technology being kind of scaled back and nobody else actually considering, you know, we should actually make a movie like this. But then they did. They made that shitty Godzilla movie with Matthew Broderick. I remember seeing it as a kid. I remember renting it on VHS. And it was okay for what it was, but it just didn't really feel like a Godzilla movie. I saw a Godzilla, mar uh, I saw a Godzilla marathon, uh, like, what, three, four years later? And I got to see all the classic stuff. And that shit was good. This, this could be the start of something big for us. Because the thing is that Toho packages Godzilla, puts him out there, then they pull him back. They put him back on his little shelf, and they keep him there for several years so that the product doesn't become stale. So that they don't milk the monster for all that he's worth. And then, you know, when the time comes, they put it back out there. Godzilla Final Wars was a clear example of that. But, you know, that's enough of me going on and on and on. Just straight to the point. I would like you all to go see Pacific Rim. You can see Grown Ups 2 the same day. I mean, if you got the money for it. Or, you know, you can see it the next day. Or, I don't know. Hell, you can see them both. I'm not saying pick one or the other, but I would really like for the opening weekend for um, Pacific Rim to actually go over. Because if this tanks, chances are no studio is ever going to actually try this kind of thing again and it's really going to hurt a lot of us fans because we want stuff like this on a kind of similar note you know on ranger board uh there's been you know a little bit of discussion about you know how this kind of could be what like a pseudo realistic not saying grim dark apocalyptic uh violence and and swearing and nudity, you know, kind of uh, serious and realistic, but, you know, a kind of a pseudo-realistic take on what Power Rangers could be if they actually got a big-budget film. I don't know. But apparently there have been some other videos on YouTube that have actually made the comparison uh, between Pacific Rim and Power Rangers. In addition to the fact that, well, they even share the same, uh, the same abbreviation. So, yeah. But, uh, yeah. Um, that's about all I gotta say, really. Um, other than, well, happy birthday to, uh, the other July 2nd babies. Especially those of you who were born in 1989. You're 24 years old now. Here's to another 24. So, yeah. Um... That's pretty much all that I gotta say. Because, well, I've got a whole bunch of other stuff on my mind right now, but uh, I don't really have a whole lot of time to talk about it. And I probably should have, uh, you know, taken these off, but oh well. And these are my backup pair. My old pair decided to fall apart, so, yeah. Whatever. I hate these glasses. And on that note, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next video.